Hey, I'm Stacy from Hex Inverter, and I'm um, here to show you the Mind Phaser today. It's finally in the flesh. So I'm just going to kind of do a feature walkthrough. It's not going to be anything super musical. Um, so in case you're not familiar with it, the Mind Phaser is a complex signal source in Eurorack, and its most unique features are in the Wave Shaper. So if you check out the oscilloscope here, uh, as you'd expect, there's a a uh, fundamental sign tone when the wave folder is turned down. So what makes it pretty interesting is there's two different ways of uh, the wave folder working. So for example, there's two modes here accessible from the front panel. So one is called rampoid and one's called symmetrical. Um, so for a short demo, uh, this is rampoid folding. So as you can see, it kind of cuts up the signs and turns them into a sort of rampy thing, and then goes back to a sign, all the way up to five octaves above the fundamental. Um, ignore the fact it looks like a little triangle here. This is a sine wave, uh, usually. Uh, it's just a little bug to flesh out. But this is symmetrical wave folding, and you see it happens quite differently. So this, of course, results in um, a different uh, harmonic pattern as you're sweeping through wave folds. Um, so that's the way in which Mind Phaser folds. It's quite a bit different than, um, you know, uh, other uh, wave folders. And of course it does through 0FM. So we have a mod bus, as you might expect. And all of the destinations can be located by these white triangles here. The mod bus is the pyramid in the middle, and of course the modulator feeds it. So you have an index control with CV, it feeds to the folds, feedback, amplitude, linear FM as you'd expect. The linear FM in the oscillator cores is not through zero, however it happens independently of phase modulation which can result in some very interesting sounds, combining or oaring or, you know, doing different things with it. And what I mean by that is if you phase modulate and you look at the waveform from the VCO itself, not your final output, you don't actually see the VCO itself phase modulating. It's just the output here. Um, sorry, I'm not doing anything too musical, I just wanted to give a feature walkthrough. So, of course, we have index controls for each. On the Modbus, um, we have attenuverters, except uh, a feature we added in order to reduce bleed is that there's 0 to 100%, you know, like a normal attenuator. And to invert the polarity of the signal you're sending through, they just have toggles, which is clearly indicated by a red light. You can also invert the uh, shape of the ramp or saw waves selectively. So you can cycle through, which is interesting when you're hard syncing or when you're using the modulator as an LFO. Another little thing that was added is the modulate, modulation oscillator has a range switch. So it can go far below into the minute cycle LFO frequency and well up into the audio spectrum. So when you find a nice ratio of, hey, I like that sound, I like the way that the sidebands are being created, but what if I flick it up an octave? It stays with the same even ratio um, as you punch through this. So that's pretty fun to play with. And then of course we have phase modulation. So that's pretty much an overview. Um, the, uh, it should be available within the next, uh, well, we'll have a ship date for sure within the next couple of months. It's very close. It's been a while, but yeah, thanks for watching.